Hey there, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. My name is Andrew, and I'm here to help you grow your channel, build your brand, and educate you about the blind and visually impaired. In today's episode, we're going to do tags and segments on ConvertKit. If you're new to ConvertKit, stick around. Today is for you. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on the latest videos, live streams, and more. Let's get in today's tutorial. Disappointed by reality. Time to come back, start something new. Build up yourself, it's all to you. Stay strong no matter what they say. You keep getting better every day. All to it up, never gonna stop. Fears and proud, stand up and shout. Yeah. As I said, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. My name is Andrew, and in today's episode, we are going to cover how to make a tag and segment for ConvertKit on a free account. Of course, this can also be done on a paid account as well, but right now I am focused on the free account for those who are new to ConvertKit.com. So let's share the screen here. All right. First thing you're going to see once you log in to your account is you are on your subscribers list. Top left hand corner, you've got the company logo, then your landing page and forms. The subscribers is highlighted because this is your default login section. Then you have broadcast towards the center. You have automations, which is uh, grayed out because as a free member, you are not going to be able to use automations. Next to that in the very center is learn. This is where you go to see more tutorials by ConvertKit themselves and other resources. Then far off to the right, you have upgrade the next to that you have the question mark which allows you to go to the community section and go to the help center and then off to the side of that you have your profile then you have the date of which your graph is looking at below and you've got your designation here to be able to switch up when you're looking at then back off to the center you have your purchases your total subscribers net new subscribers and you've got your main graph to let you know how many people and when they subscribed here. As you can see, I've got one right here for a bar going up in the graph. That is because I subscribed to my own mailing list for this demonstration. Underneath that, it tells you the number of your subscribers, your percentile rate, and everything for your analytics of who is in and how many are in and how many have unsubscribed and so on. And then you see off to the left you have the email address and name for the person. Then you have the date and the status of that person. Then on the far right you have add subscribers. That way you can add them manually. Underneath that, you have all subscribers, and it tells you how many you have. Then you have segments and tags, and then products underneath that. And today, we're going to focus on the tags and segments section here on the right. First thing you want to do is click on the create a tag. Click on that. It pulls you up towards the top a little bit towards where the names were. And it says create a tag. So we're going to create a tag name. And 
Safe. Now that tag is saved. You can see that in the list here. Then we're going to go over and we're going to click on the checkbox next to the name. Then we're going to go over just above the status where it says confirmed. We're going to click on bolt actions or bulk action. We're going to click add tag. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to click on the tag name and save. Now we can see there we've got oh, it added but it didn't refresh entirely so I'll just hit refresh real quick and you can now see that it shows one subscriber in that tag. Then we want to go up above that to the segments and create a segment. And again, just like before, pose you up over to the upper hand where the name was. Type in the name, and then it wants you to add a filter. And what we do is you add a filter, and it brings up the option of subscribe to and select. So we'll go to The first option, if you click on it, you get the option of all subscribers, subscribe to, within segment, cold subscribers, within country or region, distance from a city, subscription date, first name, email address, and custom field. We're just going to leave it at subscribe to, and then we're going to manually select on the next one, and the options are forms, sequences, tags, and products. We're going to click on tags. And then just underneath tags is a select tag or type filter here. And once you click on it, it pulls up the tags that you have. You click on that to filter and then click add. Once you have that, click save underneath. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to refresh again. You can now see that the address is now in tags as well as segments. Now, if for any reason you feel like you need to edit the name or you need to delete that particular segment or tag, you can actually click on the segment or tag name like so it'll refresh and it'll bring you to the list and then when you scroll down it shows you confirmed subscribers and then you can see it says tag in the name and it pulls up an edit bar you click on edit, you can either rename the tag or delete the tag. 
And then when you're done doing what you want to do, you just click save and you're good to go. You can do the same thing with the segments list. It'll refresh. It'll show you the same information for the segment. And again, you can click edit. And you can see here it says subscribed to the congregation tag or add filter. And then you can rename or delete and then save just as you would before. And that is how you create a tag, create a segment, as well as edit your segment and tag names or delete them. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. If you would, please put question in all caps. It would make it a lot easier for me to see that you do have a question and differentiate from regular comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on the latest videos, live streams, and more. If you have any questions and you don't feel like commenting below, you can always email me at consult.ablindguy at gmail.com. If you found any value in today's video, please don't forget to subscribe subscribe and hit that like button as well it will help you stay updated on the latest videos and live streams for some reason youtube might have that bell there and tell you that you could click on all but if you do not engage with the page or the video they will not show them to you so please don't forget to hit that like button it would be greatly appreciated I look forward to reading your comments, answering your questions. If you need any help, please feel free to hit me up, and I will be more than happy to help you. I hope you have a great day or evening, depending on where you are in the world. And until the next time, peace out. Don't forget to check out the other videos in the series on ConvertKit. Until next time, check out that video right there. And we'll see you later.